Wilbert missed a wide open layout, and I think by the 70s he'd realized this. Before I elaborate, aesthetically, there are two problems here. One, the drab pre-Sodor colors were retained throughout, so we never got the chocolate and blue livery. Two, that model is way too tall, and this carried over to the Hornby model with <laughs> hilarious results. So I'm gonna use this van to get the proportions down. It's the best I can do. So for those who don't know, side plates were colloquially known as skirts. I'm certain this is why when Wilbert introduced a BR Class 04 diesel mechanical, he made it a female character. And when I first made that connection, I thought, okay, wait, doesn't that mean the J70 character ought to be female? And the answer is a big fat yes. My guess is Wilbert didn't know that side plate colloquialism at the time he opted to include a sentient LNER J70. I'm willing to bet this was one of the reasons, not a big one, but a contributing factor to his decision to stop writing the Railway series after his 26th book which features his J70 and introduces his BR-04. I'm not saying this would have prevented complaints about a lack of female steam engines in the cast, but her presence would have pacified plenty. And I've got another specific, historically relevant engine in mind. LNER number 7138 was withdrawn in 1942. In my fanon, she was just sidelined, eventually patched up, and then took part in the 1948 BR exchange trials, along with a Lancashire and Yorkshire 21 from the Midland and a Cardiff Railway 040 saddle tank from the Western. Where'd they go? Hailing Island on the southern region, to be compared with their LBSCR Terriers. She was allowed to take a certain carriage from the tramway she came from with her, and they both ended up staying after the trials were over, and you can figure out the rest. I admit I haven't settled on a replacement name. On my poorly advertised other channel, I call her Elsie, after the unused W and U luggage van character, but that's for a top to bottom do over. It'd be a different story if, by some miracle, I were to spearhead a continuation of where Season 5 left off. All I can say is, it'd be indulging in nostalgia while also acknowledging that life changes. I'm open to suggestions for alternate names for a female on the RJ70 character. If you liked hearing my point of view and seeing my edits, leave a comment saying which character you'd like me to cover next.